Hi, I'm Craig Bell. And this is John Perkins. And this is Take 5. Hey, John, I had my grits for breakfast this morning. <laughs> you gotta love a good bowl of grits. And not to sound like a cooking show, but you do have to measure the water because the thing about grits, you can't have it too soupy. It kind of ruins the grits. Yeah, it's no good, right? Yep. It has to be precisely measured to get that just right. And all of you grit lovers out there know what I'm talking about. I can hear you saying amen right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, John, we measure everything in life, don't we? Yes, we do. Speed on your vehicle. This radio show podcast is measured by five minutes. I measure the work week, man. I'm, I'm counting that clock down until time to go home. Your weight. <laughs> my weight. And your height. Let's not talk about my weight. Yeah. Your height, <laughs> your blood pressure. It's all measured, isn't it? Yes. So how do we measure God's goodness? Because we do measure God's goodness. We, we measure everything. Yes. So how do we measure God's goodness? John, I've heard somebody stand up one time and say in church, God has given me a good job. God's been so good. And I just wanted to say, if God took your job away, would he still be good? Because the measurement that they used of God's goodness was his blessings, the circumstances that they were in. But if the circumstances went bad, would God still be good? That's the question. Because if we're measuring God by the blessings he gives us, that's a poor measurement. Yes, yeah, you see a lot of times in testimonies, especially people stands up and when we should be giving God the glory. A lot of times we're telling everybody what God has done for us, kind of bragging on what we got from the Lord. And again, I think you're right. I think a lot of times we measure how good God is and how good God's greatness is by what we received. Sure. You know, I got a nice house. God's been good to me. Got a good car. God's been good to me. Well, God has been good. But if you lost the house, if you lost the car, that's not the measurement. God's Still good. I remember Brother Craig, the first time I went to Africa on a mission trip, I remember a guy that didn't go to church that I worked with. He made this comment, what are you going to go tell all the people that poor in Africa how good your God is because he's blessed you with a lot of riches here in America? And, and I thought when he said that, you know, he has the wrong ideal of how to measure mm. God's grace and God's mercy and God's goodness. Sure. There are people, John, who are preaching every Sunday that God's Intention is to make you rich. Health and wealth. Health and wealth and prosperity. Blab it and grab it doctrine, you know. Yeah. But that's not what Paul would have preached. No. In fact, uh, when he sat in prison for, for serving God, uh, he didn't have much to be thankful for in our point of view. But yet, even there, God was good. In Matthew chapter 6 and verses 19 and 20, Jesus even says here, Lay up not yourselves treasures up on the earth where moth and rust has crept and where thieves break through and steal. So Jesus is saying, not only that's not how you measure how great that I am and how good that I am, don't even go for that. Don't even try to save up treasures on earth. Amen. You know, Job is a good example of that, isn't he? In just a matter of, of minutes, and I think the Holy Spirit wrote it in accurate timing, that as soon as the person had entered and told the bad news. The next person was on his heels. So within yeah. a matter of minutes, he lost everything. Yeah, everything. Job chapter 1. And in verse 21, he said, The Lord gave, and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Yes, in Job chapter number 2, in verse number 9 and 10, his wife came to him and said, Job, why don't you just curse God and die? And Job said, Woman, thou speakest like a foolish one. What shall we receive? Good things at the hand of God and not evil? Then he goes on, he says, The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away, but blessed be the name of the Lord. And then Job's friends came, didn't they, later yeah. on? And their attitude was, you know, Job, what did you do <laughs> yeah. wrong? Because, you know, some, you must have been a wicked dude, yeah. Job. Because... You had to do something to make God mad at you. Yeah, because <laughs> God's only good if things are going good. We read in the book, of John, where a man was born blind and his disciples came to him and said, did this man sin or his parents that he was born blind? So they had that mind frame that if you got good things, it was from the Lord. And if you got bad things, you have done something wrong. Yeah, like God's not good if you're not being blessed. And Jesus said, neither this man or his parents, but it was for the glory of God. So the next time you're making your grits in the morning and you're measuring out your water, John, just know that the way we measure God's goodness is not by our circumstances, but it's by the cross. It's by what he did on Calvary. Amen. That's how you know that God is good. Amen.